have two slides. It's um, perfect. When I was thinking about this workshop with the difficult learner and thinking about all of my experiences with the difficult learner, I wanted to put up a mirror for us. So my goal here is to put a mirror on us and to think about when are we perhaps the problem or what is our role in the challenges we find in debriefing because I think we often share a lot of that responsibility. And I think there are some specific strategies for us to keep reminding ourselves of that I think both Naren and Colleen brought up. Um, the, the basic one, I think, so uh, Amisha Guerra framed advocacy inquiry like this for me, which I found tremendously helpful. This is a kindergarten exercise in thought where you say, I see, I think, I wonder. And that's advocacy inquiry in and of itself. We separate the, the objective, our camera check. What did I see? What did I hear? What did I not see? What did I not hear? Versus what I think. And I thought that was great. I thought that was terrible. That made me angry. That made me happy. What did we think? And that simple separation of the objective and the subjective is tremendous. Because I think often when we get into our interpersonal conflicts, we may disagree, we may merge those two together, and that makes it very difficult for our learners. And then, what's the first thing we're biologically wired to do when we see someone screw up? Be mad at them, or be annoyed, or feel good about ourselves because they're wrong and we're right. That's just our biological cognitive underpinning. And the first step to getting, is to getting over that is to get curious, to take a step back and say, wait a minute, why did that happen? And maybe they're super wrong, and maybe we need to school them, or maybe we're super wrong. So I think someone, I'm not sure who said this, it might have been Jenny Rudolph, but curiosity is the workplace version of love. Think about that. Curiosity is the workplace version of love. And this is why I love Sim, because the way we create those deep interpersonal relationships is by saying, I'm really curious about your perspective. And Let's be honest, sometimes in Sim, I am not curious, I am annoyed, I have some things to say, and I'm not gonna get to curiosity, and that's okay. But if I can get curious, that's the best. If I can't get curious, or if I'm just focusing on sharing my feedback, you know, I see my intern totally bumble something up and I want them to fix it, I wanna make sure my feedback is as something as actionable as possible, and I love the smart acronym. This is used for smart goals, smart learning objectives, smart feedback. I think it's a great way to think about our feedback. So are what we telling our learners, is it specific? Is it measurable? Is it achievable? Is it relevant to them? And is it time-based? That if my feedback to them is at least smart, that's great. Um, and I think getting smart feedback, so separating our so our objective from our subjective and pushing ourselves to get curious when we look inward will help us overcome many of the difficult learners we may encounter um, and I've found these to be tremendously helpful tools.